Hey guys, um, so you wanted to know how to get your encoder hooked up to uh, yeah your Arduino Pro Micro which is running QMK. So here I have my macro uh, board, um, not a keyboard or not a full keyboard, but well it is useful for video editing. Uh, I'm using a 100 step encoder from AliExpress like for five bucks or something like that. Has 100 steps uh, of resolution and they're really crisp so it's really kind of a good nice feeling to switch around or to turn that dial um, so let's look at the terminals under the bottom um, we have the A output the B output ground and positive um, so these two terminals are not A and not B we don't need them in this case we just need this terminal here and this terminal here to uh, hook up to our Arduino to some of the inputs of it and well this we hook up obviously to ground and this one to VCC. Um, let me get a pin out for you guys so here we go if you need this image just google Arduino Pro Micro Pinout this will be the first image that pops up. Uh, you see we have um, this row here and this is giving us the actual names of the pinouts that we are gonna use in QMK. So I hooked mine up to um, 6 and 5 which is D7 and C6. May might be a little bit confusing but just go with it. Um, the other ones VCC and ground are hooked up respectively to ground and VCC. Uh, okay next thing would be well setting up QMK for it so like I said I hooked mine up to C C6 and D7 you want to define those using the define function encoders pad A and encoders pad B uh, I think I've uh, hooked them up the wrong way so that's why my direction is uh, reversed but never mind that just find it out for yourself and whatever is gonna be working works for you otherwise flip the direction or you can flip the inputs too and this will work to to reverse directions so uh, that's all you need to do for the config.h um, let's go to the key map and actually give the uh, encoder something to do so um, there is a bunch of stuff that I used here for RG custom RGB lighting which reacts to the encoder uh, but never mind that I'm gonna try to keep it simple. The important thing is this here. Uh, this function you need to include and this will update on uh, yeah, using the encoder. So um, you can ignore that part. This is, this is just for my um, uh, RGB lighting. Nothing to do with the actual workings, let's say. So uh, the first thing is or really important thing is this here. So uh, if you have multiple encoders you need to in index them but this is for the first encoder. Uh, if you want it to be responsive to layers uh, include the, such a statement like this here. M mine is just the same for level 0 and 4 so that's why there is an OR statement here. Uh, otherwise you can keep it really short like this. And the next two important statements are these two, like basically uh, if the clock if it's turned clockwise or else if it's turned well the other way. Um, and each time you want to do something, of course, which would be tab code, and in my case, uh, press the left arrow key or respectively the right arrow key in the other direction. Uh, the next two lines here are uh, simply for. Um, my custom RGB lighting, so uh, ignore those. And yeah, if you want to have multiple layers, for example, me pressing my mode 2 key will uh, trigger my uh, uh, encoder to use shift and the left arrow key, which basically makes scrolling in a lot of video editing programs faster. Um, be sure to use tab code 16 this needs to be done if you are trying to do macros like this. Um, as 
by the way, is for shift uh, and C would be control. You can read up all these um, things in the QMK documentation if you need other key codes and stuff like that. Just search for tab code 16 and QMK and you should be able to find that in the documentation. That is it. If you have any questions or anything else, well, leave it down in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Have fun and good luck!